Hi, my name is Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation and been doing this for over 20 years. And finally, this is going to be literally my favorite video because there is an amazing story behind this topic. This topic is what is the real reason for marriage? So those of you who have been following me and I appreciate you very much and it's very worthwhile because our approach to marriage is so different. So subscribe to the channel. I was a divorce mediator over 20 years ago. I spoke at second Saturday. I was doing very well. It's getting pretty rich helping people get a divorce. It's disgusting. I know, but that's what I did. And then one day a young couple asked me, can you help us stay married? They had gone through traditional marriage counseling as virtually all of my clients had gone through. And so I, I was caught off guard and very unprofessional of me. I said, um, give me a few months to prepare and I'll try. So I was just completely overwhelmed with what I had taken on. I knew nothing about saving marriages. I believed in divorce, perish the thought. And so I had to begin somewhere. I'm a very practical, process oriented person. I believe that you can achieve virtually anything when you know what it is you want to achieve. I'm like that engineer. When they ask the engineer, can you build a bridge from California to Hawaii? He'll say, let me do the math. Saving marriages. I said, let me do the math. So I went out asking the question, how do you save a marriage? And I started thinking the wrong way. I started thinking how all of us were taught to think about marriage, that it's a matter of solving the problems. It took me weeks before I realized that I had to ask a completely different question. And the question is the one I'm going to answer tonight. What is the reason, the real reason for marriage? It's a great question. So <laughs> once I had that question in mind, it was like, okay, what is the answer? Weeks longer. I'm asking people, why did you get married? Why did you want to get married? Not why did you marry your soulmate, but why did you want to get married in the first place? What's the real reason for getting married? And I heard everything. And over the years, I've heard it again and again. Um, I don't want to be lonely. I want to have a family. I want to experience uh, fitting into society. Everyone's married. Uh, a lot of good reasons. None of them really struck me. And then I realized I had to answer the question. It's so simple that you're going to be embarrassed like I was that I didn't answer the question immediately. By the way, from this question comes my books, the course for men, the course for women, our counselors helping people, the website, all the articles, all the YouTubes, all of it boils down to very simply, you get married. The real reason is to be happy. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? We don't think of that. It's not the first thing that comes to our mind. And yet you could push all the other reasons under that one because all the good reasons fit under that one. All the other reasons lead to wanting to be happy. There is another reason equally important. You want to experience unconditional love. 
And here's how I got there. Now, confession, if you want to call it that. I've been meditating for a very long time. Literally began in, in January of 1972. I sat down to meditate for the first time and I had an experience that showed me that meditation was something I had to do for the rest of my life. Most people don't have that experience and it doesn't make any difference, but I did. And it took me literally years to realize why I was meditating. Guess what? Same reason. As a human being, we are souls. We are souls that have a body and that have a mind. Now, men think their body, the ultimate experience is to have sex. It's not true. Women think the ultimate experience is to have a baby. It isn't true. The ultimate experience is to be aligned with your soul. So you experience who you are as a soul, which is, guess what? Ever new joy. That's what we seek. That's what we already have. But we don't know it. We're not taught this. We live in a mundane world. We have mundane ideas and we lead mundane lives. But once we make that shift, I believe that God gave us marriage because it's something virtually everyone does in order to come closest and in fact realize these gifts that we have of experiencing joy all the time and experiencing unconditional love all the time. It's not second best to a spiritual path. It is an ultimate spiritual path. Learning to love unconditionally. That's the reason we get married. We know that we can be happy. We know that we have free will. We know that we have volition, the ability to put things into action. And we have wisdom. We can connect the dots. Who in their right mind would get married for any reason other than to be happy? So how do we heal marriages? Very simple. We ignore the problems. It makes us very different in this marriage help community. I ignore the problems. I don't want to talk about the problems. I want to talk about what you can do right now to achieve the purpose, the reason for your marriage. And the reason for your marriage, pop quiz, to be happy. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it cool? I think it is so awesome. I love how God puts everything together. We are, it's a puzzle to us because we get so distracted. We leave out the simplicity. The most simple is I want to be happy. I want to be filled with joy. Everything else comes under that. Even the scriptures, even the do's and don'ts, the Ten Commandments, the yamas and niyamas, everything that all the scriptures of the world prescribe, all leads to happiness. Marriage, when done correctly, leads to unbelievable happiness till your last breath. And that's the way it is. <laughs> I am Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope you'll spend time with me again. Take care. God bless you.